Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to teach you about the debt to assets ratio, which is a really handy form of financial statement analysis. Um, here I have the balance sheet of two different companies. The reason I have the balance sheet is because, as the name implies, debt to asset ratio is going to involve us dividing debts by assets. Okay, And of course, when we say debts and we say assets, what we mean in this case is total liabilities divided by total assets, okay? Total debts over total assets. And this right here is what's known as a solvency ratio. And it's a solvency ratio because we are essentially looking at long-term survivability of the company. When we're examining long-term obligations versus long-term cash generating value, okay? So let's calculate this for both companies and see where we stand. Um, First of all, on the left, we have Weiss Markets, a grocer, um, and uh, total liabilities over total assets. So we check that balance sheet. We have total liabilities right here at 616817. If we look at total assets, we've got 1,675,562. And if we look over at Kroger, total liabilities, we have 36683. Um, the two companies are scaled differently. Weiss is scaled in thousands, Kroger is scaled in millions, so that's why the numbers look a little different. Um, we've got total assets of 45,256. 256. And now I'm going to pull out my calculator and we'll check how these numbers work out. All right, we'll start with Weiss, um, 616817 over 1675562. And that is going to come out to approximately, we'll round it to 37%. And then if we move over to Kroger, 36683 divided by 45256, that is going to work out to approximately 81%. All right, so what does this tell us about the company? Well, what it explicitly tells you is how much of the company is funded by debt. And you might be thinking, wait, how does it tell us that? And that requires us taking a look at this equation, total liabilities over total assets. But remember, assets equal liability plus shareholders' equity. So we could rewrite this equation as liabilities over liabilities plus shareholders' equity. Liabilities is the debt that the company has. Shareholders' equity is the equity that the company has. So combined, those are the two sources of financing that the company can engage in. It can raise money through debt. It can raise money through selling its own equity, selling ownership, right? And so now what this ratio is really showing us is what portion of the total financing of the company is coming just from the debt. So how much of the company is financed by debt? And so in the case of Weiss Markets, 37% of the company is financed by debt. In the case of Kroger, 81% of the company is financed by debt. Now, often when I do ratios, I say, what's the magic number you're looking for? And in this case, there is no magic number. The amount of debt that a company takes on simply uh, equates to a certain level of risk. Some companies like to take on debt because they like the uh, tax benefits of deducting interest, let's say. Um, some investors uh, will like companies with a lot of debt because it's just their preferred uh, risk portfolio. Some investors won't want to touch companies with a lot of debt because it's their preferred risk portfolio. So there is no magic number of um, you know what is good, what is bad. Suffice to say that if you look at these two companies side by side, Kroger is just financed with much more debt than Weiss, and therefore Kroger might appeal to a certain type of investor, whereas Weiss appeals to a different type of investor. The only thing that I would caveat that with is debt holders can put a company out of business. They can force a company into bankruptcy and claim their share of what's left over. Shareholders, equity holders, cannot put a company out of business. Shareholders, if they are unhappy, can sell their stock to someone else who is willing to hold on to it. So the more you have financed by debt, 
the riskier you are, the riskier you are as a company from that perspective. If you miss your interest payments on that debt, your debt holders can push to put to put you out of business. Okay, so that's the debt to, debt to asset ratio. It's a solvency ratio. Tells us about how survivable is the company in the long term, how survivable based on how much of you is funded by debt, and therefore what additional risk do you have um, of not meeting your interest payments, not meeting your obligations, getting put out of business. All right, hope you found that helpful, and I hope you join me for the next video.